The Atlanta Hawks are going to beat the Philadelphia 76ers in Game 6 because Doc Rivers has a hard time winning Game 7s. Bless his heart, he just can't help himself on the Game 7s. Okay, I'm not making this up, all right? You remember back when he coached the Orlando Magic, all right? They had Tracy McGrady, Mike Miller. Grant Hill was on that team, but I believe he was still hurt, all right? But um, pretty good squad, decent squad. And they were the actual they were the actual underdog to the Detroit Pistons that year. And they got up three games to one. Tracy McGrady, I remember him saying, because at this time, at this point of, you know, of Tracy McGrady's career, he had never advanced past round one. All right, so he came to the press conference and he said, man, it's, it feels real good to finally, you know, get a chance to advance to round two of the NBA playoffs. But, aha, aha. Remember the dude on Coming to America? Aha. The mighty shop, shop. Anyways, he said that. Guess what? Um, they did not advance to round two because the Detroit Pistons they came back and won three games in a row. All right. So okay, you ch- you charge that up to you can charge that up to okay. Well, they were still an inexperienced team, and that Detroit Pistons team were a better team than the Orlando Magic. And technically, you could say the Orlando Magic had no business ever even being up three games to one. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool, right? All right, so let's fast forward to when he was coaching the Los Angeles, became the, the you know what, the Boston Celtics. Wait, wait, coached the Boston Celtics. They win the NBA Finals. They beat the Los Angeles Lakers four games to two. Four games to two, all right? Then the next year, when they had the opportunity to defend their championship, they lost in game seven. They lost in game seven. I know Kendrick Perkins was hurt, and trust me, Kendrick Perkins' defense clogging up the middle, his ability to set some of the most meanest, ambitious screens. Listen, listen. Let me tell y'all something, man. I really wish they would, they would put make that a stat, a statistical category, setting screens. Because if you if you did that, more people would set screens. Google Kendrick Perkins, see this dude setting screens. I mean. Having a center or a power forward or any big out there setting screens for a guard or a small forward, that's the equivalent to having like Jonathan Ogden or Walter Jones as a left tackle, okay? That's what that's equivalent to, all right? But anyways, um, they lost game seven. They lost game seven. You still had Kevin Garnett. You still had Paul Pierce. still had Ray Allen. They lost game seven of the finals. Okay, hey, you lost to Kobe Bryant, Ron Artest. Paul Gasol, Lamar Odom, Andrew Bynum, Derek Fisher. Hey, hey, Phil Jackson. All right. Cool. Get a pass for that. All right. He goes to the Los Angeles Clippers. All right. Um, They had my Rockets three games to one. My Houston Rockets come back and win in game seven. All right. 2015. Go Rockets. All right. You had Chris Paul out there. You had Blake Griffin out there. You had DeAndre Jordan out there. You had Matt Barnes out there. Who else did they have out there? Austin Rivers. You had your son out there. You had his son out there. I like and I like Austin Rivers. Austin Rivers is dope, man. Um, um, they had a good team. Was I think Jamal Crawford was on that team. JJ Redick was on that team. All right, a good team. All right, so all right, so let's go. Why is he? Why are you still the coach of the Clippers? All right. Okay. So let's go to the Clippers, all right? The Clippers, they play against the Denver Nuggets last year. Yeah, so they they lost that in seven games, people. They lost to the Nuggets in seven games, and it was up three games to one. All right? Now, I'm not saying he never wins a game seven. They did win a game seven last year against the Dallas Mavericks, all right? But right now, in this series, the way it's been going between Atlanta and in Philadelphia, all right, it seems like the team that has the most, I'm not, I'm not going to use the word pressure, but it seems like the team that the masses expects to win ends up losing. You know, for example, game six in Atlanta, you had more celebrities coming out there for that in that crowd, okay? And more, more, more so-called analysts, experts, they were picking the Atlanta Hawks to close the series out. All right. And that's when I knew, you know what? Uh, not saying that the Hawks are not going to play up to the expectations, but what's going to happen is 
See, both teams has that underdog syndrome, you know, where it's like, oh, you think he better than me? I'm going to show y'all something. And that's what the Philadelphia 76ers, that's how they played. Oh, I'm going, we're going to show y'all why y'all should not be picking the Hawks over us, the 76ers. And then you had other games where, okay, for example, game one, everyone, you know, people, most, most people, they pick the 76ers to win game one. So the Atlanta Hawks came out with the attitude, oh, y'all gonna y'all think they better than us? Oh, we're gonna show y'all. Bam. All right. So in response to losing game one, the Sixers are like, oh, y'all gonna doubt us just because we lost game one? Let us show you what we do. Boom, boom. Oh, y'all gonna pick the Atlanta Hawks because you say, oh, well, they stole a game in Philly. Oh, and they just gotta win at home. So you think they're gonna win at home. They're gonna beat us, Philly, the 76ers. So the 76ers come back, come out. Bam, bam. They beat the Hawks. All right. Now people are like, man, yeah, the Hawks, they just got lucky in game one. Got lucky in game one. So guess what? The 76ers is about to take care of business. Sixers in five, right? Oh, Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks say, no, no, no. Boom, boom. Guess what? Tied a series. All right. And people are like, well, you know what? Well, you know, it's come, they're coming back to Philly. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the 76ers, you know, they still going to handle their business, all right? Because the Hawks, you can't expect to sweep the Hawks in Atlanta. So 76ers and six, 76 and six, all right? So what happens? What happens? <laughs> the Atlanta Hawks win. <laughs> so then now the majority of people, they're picking in game six, the Atlanta Hawks. And what do the 76ers do? Say they like, oh, Oh, y- y- y'all think they better than us? Oh, okay. We'll show you. We'll show you. We'll show you. And guess what? <laughs> the 76 is won. Now, hey, people like, yeah, momentum is back in Philly. They bought the, it's, it's on. It's on. Game seven. It's on. Y'all saw Joel MB dominate. It's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. It's on like Donkey Kong. And... That's the way the momentum, that's the way it's been going in this series. The Atlanta Hawks are going to win this this series in game seven because they are the underdogs right now. Whichever team who has the most underdog mentality going into that particular game has won in this series. So I'm rolling with the Atlanta Hawks in this one. All right. Can the Sixers win? Yeah. But I don't think they're going to win tonight. I don't. All right. But if they do win, man, that'll be a good matchup. Um, Embiid versus Giannis. The centers are back in style, y'all. But um, I think the Atlanta Hawks are going to win this game. Less pressure is on them. You know, it's a lot of pressure on um, on Doc Rivers and the Sixers team. You know, and a lot of times you got, sometimes as human beings, under when we can have so much pressure that we even put upon ourselves, we tend to be tight. You know, I'm not saying you got to play loosey goosey, but you can't be too tight. You know, you got to go out there and play your game. You have to focus, get you some good rest. All right. But I have the Atlanta Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks, the Atlanta Hawks are winning game seven. Um, I have I have friends who are 76ers fans. So this is nothing personal, man. I, I literally just dropped facts right here. That's that's the way the momentum's been going. But um, I got the Hawks winning this series, people. Tell me what you think. Share your thoughts. Do you think the Atlanta Hawks are going to win in Game 7, or do you think the Sixers are going to win in Game 7? Tell me your reasons why, either which way, no matter which team you choose. Do you trust or do you believe in Doc Rivers to coach his team to win this Game 7? All right? Share your thoughts. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. Student of the Game Podcast. Peace.